All right. So this matchup used to be considered like really, really awful in Smash 4 for Mario. I don't know exactly how it's changed uh, between the two games. And with Wi-Fi now, um, people still consider Sonic to be kind of a, a menace. It's kind of getting banned left and right, honestly. And Zack's no slouch. Like, honestly, he's a pretty talented player overall. So it's not like it's even a character that's, uh, that's causing him to get the results he's been getting. So it's going to be interesting to see how Nintunis tries to overcome this. Nintunis has entered our, our events before. Hasn't had the greatest performance. This is actually the first time I think he's made to winter quarters. But he's usually made it far regardless. Really interested to see like what kind of uh, how he's gonna try to deal with Zack's Sonic. So apologize for anybody who has uh, trauma in the ears. Oh my goodness. And Sonic back air, always a super big workhorse character. Able to get uh, some pretty solid hits in. Okay, good use of the Nair to, to kind of interrupt the thing. And Zack DIing out and managing to get a counter hit that knocked Nintunis out of his second jump. Tunis cannot be feeling good about that one, dying at almost 0%. Yep, yeah, and Zack is not the kind of player who's too shy to just force you to approach. He's like, he doesn't care uh, how much time is left, he'll time you out. Wow, very good use of the, uh, the runaway to get the punish on the homing attack. And Zach is happy waiting on the platform. Uh, luckily, they did make a small change to invincibility off the angel platform, where you don't get as much if you decide to stay on for the full duration. But it's still enough to try to get one or two swings in. And Tunis DI is actually pretty good overall, honestly. Actually, really liking Tunis recovery there. He's like, yeah, he's gonna try to use the spring to try to force me off, so I'm just gonna go and hide. Of course, uh, Zach could have always forward air for doing that, but you know what? He gets right that one time. Okay, good use of the fair into down air. And unfortunately, uh, Natunis wasn't really in a position to punish that uh, that landing lag. I really like uh, Natsuki's use of down air in these situations, and his back throw going to be enough to kill. Not quite, but it is close. And the spring ends up doing it anyways. Mario not having the best recovery if he doesn't have a second jump. Uh, up B does have a little bit of invincibility frames, but if he doesn't get them out, uh, unfortunately it's going to be very easy to cut a head out of the air. And the spring sends you at kind of a low angle. Uh, not much you can do about that.
I still say this matchup is still not a walk in a park for Mario overall. Uh, the added benefit of Wi-Fi really complementing Sonic a lot. Granted, Mario does see some benefit from it too, though. Uh, I think we're going to see a change from Zack. I'm not really sure if he's... Uh... Oh, God. So Battlefield is a uh, really good stage for Mario overall. Uh, any try fight really does give him the option to uh, to do ladder combos using the platforms. And in some situations, he is able to guarantee a uh, combo into quarter on most characters if he manages to get uh, if he manages to get them up there. Uh, versus Sonic, uh, preferably, he's not going to give him that opportunity unless he absolutely has no other choice. Really good aerial chase. Who's that? Yeah, and the Dunas not really able to catch Zack super well. Uh, he's going for like these super hard reads off the ledge, but they're not really coming out to be not coming out to be uh that fruitful. But the times that Natunas is able to get um some kind of hit. On Zaki is a uh, is getting a lot of damage overall. Uh, it doesn't really change the fact though that uh, Sonic does have a tool that can kind of nullify Fireball, which is one of uh, Nintendo's best options for camping. Not to mention, like Zack is just allowed to kind of play on his terms. He doesn't have to. Uh, he doesn't have to go in unless he wants to. Oh my goodness, that was almost a full charge off Smash, but it was good enough. Oh my goodness, both players barely whipping each other like three times in a row. And again, we see Zack has like, uh, he has a good percentage lead, to the point that uh, if he gives this up, it can be really bad for him. Tunis Doing some, oh, just barely falling out of the combo. And Tunis was set to just take this back and get like a super early kill on uh, on Zach there, but he didn't end up getting the hit that he needed. But despite that, no, Tunis is doing a good job bringing it back, and uh, back here super active, so it just uh, it ate both the fireball and the uh, kills. And doing his there, so you know. Very nice. <laughs> uh oh, and just barely off by less than like less than a few pixels. Zach having the presence of mind to stay in shield, not trying to jump out just because uh Nintunis was threatening him. He didn't really Nintunis didn't really have a good way to kill at that percent, really. So it was very smart of Zach to uh, to win shield at that point. And despite all appearances, it's been a pretty even match so far. Uh, and Tunis, not at a super huge deficit. You can still take this back with a really well placed F smash. Very nice on Tunis. Uh We have 2 minutes 45 seconds left. 
And Tunis is going to have to do some big plays if he wants to get the kills. But Zach's just going to keep playing it safe because he knows that he doesn't have to, uh, he doesn't have to go super hard and approach unless he gets desperate. So it's, oh, the ball's completely in Tunis court for how the rest of this match is going to go now that it's a last thought situation with less than a third left. I really like the use of the platform by Natunas here, honestly. Unfortunately, homing attack is not punishable on shields, on shield hit, no matter how much it's charged or how little it's charged. Uh, the only way to really punish, uh, to 100% be able to punish uh, homing attack is to make it so that they miss you, either by spot dodging or rolling, or just getting out of range, which is also an option, but not at that range. Yeah, you see the tuners are going is going for like these super heavy swings and he's not getting the kind of reward he probably wants. Uh, Sonic F Smash is safe on shield against most characters. Uh, it has just enough knockback and the parry! Okay, Mutunis managing to come back though. In spite of appearances, uh Mario down there is kind of really destroyed overall. And that foreigner is going to be it. Sonic is allowed to follow you kind of super deep. And because of that, like, you can just get these, uh... And while none of his aerials are super strong, uh, out of homing attack, I mean, I guess his back air is... And even though his uh, up air and his forward air aren't, like, super strong, he can just kind of follow you all the way to the blast zone. And get those... And secure those kills pretty effectively when he spaces them properly. All right, next up we're going to have Mousetrap versus Uran. And I don't know who the hell Uran is 